Van Gerwen getting on a run. Because if Van Gerwen gets on a roll, that's when it's very, very difficult to stop. If the momentum swings in favour of the young Dutchman, from 5-1 down, he's very capable. So Newton has to keep chipping away. Even if Van Gerwen wins a couple of legs, Newton has to win, win one just to, to, to break up that winning run of Van Gerwen. But as we've seen so many times, noticeably, when he won the World Grand Prix in Dublin last November, he was four sets to one down. I don't think he lost another leg as he went on to win the final against Mervyn King. Well, <laughs> that's the Dutch way for 121. I, I don't understand it. I know it's personal preference, but it would never be my personal preference. Newton a long way off here. Doesn't want to hit. Uh, well, he hasn't even left himself a double or a shot. So... Van Gerwen now tops to get it to 5-3. The problem is Newton's not close enough to punish Van Gerwen in this particular leg for missing doubles. And do you know what, Stu, what I used to hate to do as a, as a dark player, hit a massive score and it'd be wasted when you see your opponent go up and then take the double out. You think, oh, I'd love to kick the next leg off with that big score. 40. Well, Van Gerwen will try again. Yep, so Van Gerwen wins back-to-back -back legs. 5-1 down, becomes 5-2, becomes 5-3. And this now is the most important leg of the match. You're absolutely right. Wes has just gone off the boil. The 140s have become tons, the tons have become 60s. And Van Gerwen is on the ascendancy. He's on the way up on the scoring. And this is a mega important leg for Wes. Well, if you are in Dubai, there are tickets available. Two and a half thousand tickets have been sold for Friday night here for the semi-finals and the finals. But there are still tickets available. It really has been a brilliant atmosphere, the opening night here. And it will be again on Friday night as they chase the title and chase the $50,000 that the winner will receive. And Michael McGowan here, slowly but surely it seems, is turning this game around. Yeah, just not hitting the treble enough now, this Wes. This could be, for a second, break a throw on the trot for Van Gerwen. Double 16. Oh, right on the wire. He will come back. And he's now firmly back in this game. It reminds me, it reminds me just a little not so important as Newton here. Oh! It's a fifth maximum to put the pressure on. Now there is some pressure here on young Michael Van Gerwen. Yeah, the double 16 he missed to go 5 2 up in the world final against Taylor. Oh, no, missing this time, he's won three consecutive legs. Newton with the pressure, with the maximum. But yeah, we were watching yesterday, we were watching a, a run-through of a special documentary that was done uh, around the time of the World Championship at the Alexandra Palace for American television. And uh, they showed Michael Van Gerwen missing double 60. I think it's for a 107 checkout, which would have put him five sets to two up against Taylor. And uh, Taylor took the set, it was 4-3, and it, it, it turned the final on its head. And in fact, Gerwin didn't win another set after that. Um, but he'll learn from that. He'll learn from that. Van Gerwin will win the World Championship multiple times. Well, I can't disagree with that, and with that young man's ability. You know, we have the averages nearly identical. Not a lot in them, but... This man is on the up, where Wes is on the decline. And in that last leg, Wes hit the 180 and Van Gerwen took it out. As I said, literally, just before it, I used to hate hitting the big score uh, to waste it. We've nicknamed it the wasted 180, and that's exactly what that 180 was for Wes. He would have loved to have kicked this leg off with that score. That'll do. That will do. Van Gerwen was 4-1 down. West Newton 
It was 5-1 down, sorry, and, and, and Newton missed one dart to make it 6-1. Well, has that made it difficult? Has that made it awkward for him? There's your answer. There's your answer, and Dave, that first dart was in the worst possible position for Michael Van Gerwen. Two darts missed at tops for five all. Newton here, well, Van Gerwen will come back at double 15. But Newton had darts for 6-1, it could be about to go 5-5. Five, five. Well, if it had taken the 106 out, he got control of the game again. But Michael Van Gerwen, 7 for... Oh, double six. Oh, what a shot out. Michael Van Gerwen takes out the double six. Gets himself right back in this game. Wes Newton went into a 5-1 lead. Van Gerwen gets it back to five legs apiece. Loads more darts to play for here at the Dubai Duty Free Masters. We'll be right back very shortly. Michael Van Gerwen knows how to celebrate. What an important dart that could be at double six. 
He was 5-1 down to West Newton. He has reeled off four consecutive legs. It's 5-all. Newton has had his chances. Newton had a dart to make it 6-1, which surely would have put this match out of Van Gerwen's reach. But we've talked about Van Gerwen getting on a roll. He is on a roll. Can Newton stop the Dutch darting train here in Dubai? Well, the, the commercial break come at the perfect time for Wes because that may be the thing that stops Michael on that run. If you're on a run, you want to stay on the stage. If you're not, get a commercial break in, just set yourself down. And Wes Newton started this game off absolutely flying, so there's no reason why off this break that he can't do it again. And we saw in the Premier League 81. final in front of 10,000 at the O2 in London a week ago. Uh, Michael Van Gerwen was 5-2 down to Phil Taylor. Taylor was throwing. 44. And Van Gerwen managed to win the leg. And he got on a roll and it turned the game. There was a commercial break and Van Gerwen just came out of that 34. commercial break. And... Well, he steamrolled Taylor, didn't he? And eventually, he switched the power off 10-8 in a, in a fabulous final. Here, Van Gerwen having to come from behind again after a magnificent start from Wes Newton. 131. Brilliant, brilliant darts from Newton. Well, he's come off the break exactly how he had to come off. Left a shot after 12, doesn't need to go to bullseye route, but he ain't going to do that, he needs double 18, this will give him a bit of confidence, wow. he's going to come back, but the double 18 is a great double, nearly all the players love it, but if he splits it and has to chase over to them nines, no one likes the double nine, so it's essentially, Wes misses just above, we'll just put the first one straight in the middle, as I say that, Wes Newton, six, five up, and this is where Wes walks back, trying to get some feed off the crowd, some adrenaline going. 140. Well, crucially, he stopped the rock, as we said he had to do after the break. Van Gerwen winning four consecutive legs to get back into this contest. But Wes Newton, it was absolutely vital. I, I, I honestly feel... If Van Gerwen had won that leg against the throw after the break, I don't think Newton possibly would have won another one. So, hats off to Newton. Um, he will battle away. He really is. A courageous player, despite the fact that he was one of the two players who was relegated in the new look Premier League, which we saw over the last four months. He is performing admirably here. Still, would you believe? 83. 80 degrees plus here in Dubai. Late into the night. On the opening night of a history-making darts masters. 100. To leave tops. Well, <coughs> Newton. Just needs to hit a big score. Van Gerwen is on a bit of a run, so you don't think he's going to miss the double top. But when you stand back, always think that your opponent's going to miss. Because I can assure you, there are times when he will, and that's no, when you do. punish him. And he has. He does have legs where he misses a stack of darts at double. Doesn't happen very often. It hasn't happened there, but it does, and it has happened to Van Gerwen where. He can miss eight, nine, ten darts at a double. Here comes Newton with oh, darts at the treble. Five. That 180 is for Newton. Just the one so far for Michael Van Gerwen. Well, that's the, unlucky. The thing about it, Stu, is that if you leave a double when your opponent wants a double, it's harder for him to hit that double, especially if he misses with the first dart. But if you're nowhere about, you're well over 100, it just... He then goes up the board a lot more relaxed. That's exactly what Van Gerwen has done. I mean, in the early part of the game, Wes Newton was putting his game on Michael, and it was showing. Wes was certainly the best player in that first session. But still at six-all, if Wes holds his throw, 
four times, and then he obviously walks off the winner. He's switching. He's coming down to those 19s. Oh, he's coming down to the 17s and hit it. He's got to come back up for the 20s. He's just taking his time. One Brilliant dart. Still piling the pressure on. Just play one leg at a time. Don't worry about the next leg. Just get this over and done with. 96 to injury ball, 170. Newton will still fancy this, you know. 60. He really will. That's a mistake, though. He needed a treble. And he opens up the door for Van Gogh, going to hit two trebles. That's exactly what he's done. So now Newton's got to take this 110 out. Van Gogh is going to get two darts at a double, but Newton's going to get in another dart at the double top to hold on to his throw. 70. Well, 54. That kissed the top wire. That's how close it was. Ah! He's missed the single. Might have just been a little breeze. Double 13 will do. Anyway, will do. He went single 14 for tops, but double 14, double 13 will do. And Wes Newton, one dart at tops for a 110 finish. And Van Gerwen is ahead for the first time in this quarter final. Well, Michael, when it went in the double 14, reacted as if the breeze had helped that out, but I can assure you where the dart should have gone in the 14, the breeze could not drift it two inches. It's one, one of those flyers. And odd darts in games, in legs, you look back at and you think, just if I'd have hit that, I'd have had control, I'd have gone on and won it. And certainly that double top could have been the telling factor in this match. No idea. Well, also, we must hark back to the, the, the seventh leg when he was, had another ton plus finish and remember just missed tops to go 6-1 in front and that was also, well, massively important as it's turned out to be Great game though When you're playing players like this and Taylor and Barney when they're at the top of their game you may only get the odd dart to take control in a match and that's all it needs but Newton is in here again advantage to Van Gerwen he set it up last time can he set it up again it looks like he's going to well the chance here for Newton Stewart but he's got to hit two trebles he's got to put the pressure on because he knows that Van Gerwen may only get a dart of the double when he returns there's one wants another one oh and he didn't need that well that's unfortunate Double 18 for double 18! Oh, that is the class of the man! No messing! Two double 18s! He was 5 1 down, he's 8 6 up. How about that? And you could see when he walked back that snarl, that punch of the air. We, we said when he goes on a run, he's hard to contain. And the last two legs, double 14, double 13, that weren't meant. The double 14 weren't meant, but I can assure you that two double 18s were brilliant. As West Newton sticks in, his sixth. He's six to one on 180s against Van Gerwen. The seventh in the match. Now, so far, the match has turned on just two moments. As far as West Newton is concerned, two missed darts at double top at crucial times. For Michael Van Gerwen on the other side of the coin, 42. a massive double six to make it five all. And then the 54 finish with double 14, double 13, and then taking out the 92 with tops and double 18, double 18. So crucially, it's the misses from Wes and, and the massive moments when Van Gerwen has hit. 59. That's all it needs, and again, at that score, Wes fails to hit a treble. And then going, he'll feel he'll get six darts from here, and the way he's playing, he's been doing it so many times. But 
Entertainment. We really have seen some fantastic darts. 96. All night. James Wade will play Raymond Van Barneveld in our first semi final. Oh, needs another one of those. Oh, he needed one more, but Van Gogh may only get one dart at a double to get 